Hello, hello, it's Friday. Um, I'm going to mainly just talk about what I did yesterday after the video. I went for the walk in the nature park. And it spawned me to talk about this today because I just encountered someone that reminded me of yesterday. So, for those of you that aren't on my Snapchat, and I know there's a lot of you because the channel is reporting 386 subscribers. I got about 25 views per video and about 12 people see my Snapchat story. So, yeah. There's at least half of you that view these things that possibly aren't, that by the numbers, aren't on my Snapchat. There's probably a good chunk of you that, there's probably about half the people on my Snapchat that don't watch my YouTube videos. So anyways, um, I was in the nature park. I was, I was actually testing my heel because I've been wearing the boot and all that, ha all that happy jazz. And it's supposed to be making my heel a little bit better and work a little nicer. And I've been doing, going through practice and it hasn't hurt after practice and that's fine. So I figured I'd do like an extended almost five mile walk inside the nature park. It was nice yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so... While I was in there, there wasn't any bicyclists because it was horribly muddy, and bicyclists don't like, or cyclists don't like, you know, mud, because their poor little bike tires get stuck in it and they fall over and they get dirty. Anyways, but there's a hell of a lot of runners because there's some muddy paths, but you know you can you can kind of avoid the muddy paths. There's still gravel paths and um, wooden wooden paths. They're plastic. They're that plastic that looks like wood that you, we when recycle the bags. Anyways, so, um, but I was, I was just walking. I wasn't even jogging at all. I barely went above four miles an hour. Um, anyways, and so I had a lot of joggers coming by, like yelling to get out of their way. And I'm as far to the right because I could hear them from, you know, a ways back. So I leaned over to the side of, you know, I got over to the side of the path so they could run back. And I'm like, one foot is off the path and one foot is on the path. Like I'm straddling the curb basically. And I'm being yelled at to move and get out of the way and whatnot. And like a few people have, and I made the joke yesterday, they have a running form of a paralyzed giraffe. And I realized that a paralyzed giraffe wouldn't run, but I didn't want to say anything along the physical a disability line because that's bad but they were their running form was, was bad I've seen long distance runners in there because I live next to Nike I see a lot of long distance runners and the people who just go jogging at like seven eight miles an hour for Lord knows how long an hour and they just go like eight miles not a big deal and so yeah and there was a couple other and then there was like moms with like five kids and the kids were all over the path and I was like walking really slow and trying to say excuse me, excuse me and the kids were yelling and the moms couldn't hear me and finally they said and they're like, oh my god! And they like grabbed their kids and pull them over to one side like I was some sort of sexual predator or something and I was like, what the hell? Like I had kind of a weird social time in the nature park but I had a great walk. And what reminded me today is because I was taking a right from Millican onto 153rd. And someone coming up 153rd as a pedestrian was crossing and there was also traffic. So I waited for the pedestrian to cross. They had a green light, everything was great. I mean, I was being, I was being lazy. I could have probably turned before the pedestrian had crossed into my half of the road and you know, cause traffic had calmed down, but I decided to wait because there was nobody behind me in the pressing matter and I'm not in a hurry. So he gets up onto the curb and I check to see if traffic and there's one car coming. It's going across the street and then I start taking my right and he's walking against the light going the other direction. And I honk, he flips me off and then walks slowly backwards onto the curb and yells asshole. And I'm like, you're the one crossing against the light. I already waited an extended period of time getting you across this this crosswalk. I mean, I, I could have been an asshole back, but I was being nice, and now you're being an asshole. And I just, I don't know why cyclists specifically, or especially, not specifically, especially cyclists, 
but a, a great number of pedestrians also consider themselves way higher in the social order on roads. Like they, like there are pedestrian rules, i.e. crosswalks, i.e. you know, you have your own crosswalk lights and all that jazz and they don't want to follow them. I'm not going to say I've never crossed against the light, but I've always waited to see if there's a car turning or coming the way. I don't just like jump across. I mean, hell, in the, in the thing, in the video, in the Snapchat yesterday, I, because I was walking, because the nature park is further down Millican. It's on Millican and so is my apartment complex, but we're like three blocks apart. So, and it's in between Nike buildings. Well, now currently Nike buildings. There was a joke there too. There was sarcasm. There was sarcasm. I was like, these buildings look so nice. And then Nike came by, refurbished them because there was no businesses in them. They were just empty, that conglomerated warehouse. <laughs> but Nike came by, refurbished them, painted them all one color and gave a whole crap ton of people jobs. And I was saying that sarcastically, like, God dare you, Nike, you took away beauty in this thing to give, like, a thousand people jobs. I mean, I I I'll take the thousand jobs in my local, like, literally within a block of my apartment. Then, anyways, but this, back yesterday, this cyclist lady, she just was coming down Millican, coming towards me because I was walking home, and she... <laughs> And she has her, she has her earbuds in and she's just sort of like, you know, got her nose up in the air, but sort of like smelling the air and she's just like wobbling back and forth. Just sort of how you would if you were casually bike riding down like a path or, or sidewalk or just any long path. And I'm at this new place where we have these little, you push the button and the, and the little lights flicker and you wait for traffic to stop and you can cross the crosswalk. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> we get, I, I, I'm walking near there, and I'm on the side that I don't have to hit the button. Because I'm just walking on the construction side. Um, I don't really have to wait for traffic. And she gets to the crosswalk and just leans and darts across in, in the crosswalk. Didn't even hit the button. Nothing. And this car driving down the road slams on its brakes. Full-blown crossover SUV. Uh, something like that in the turn lane there. Anyways, just <sighs> comes to a screeching halt. She gets scared because of the screeching of the brakes and falls over away from the... Nobody got hit. She just got a little bumped and bruised, yada yada. And I was just like, how do you, honey, you know, and I'm just like, homegirl, you about got your plowed by a car that weighs more than I've ever just, holy shit. And she got up and she started yelling at the car for being in the wrong place. And I was like, the car was on the road. The car was doing the speed limit. It's 30 miles an hour through there. You know, the car was even in, cause it's a two lane road right there. The car was in the lane away from her. You know, the middle lane, I guess. And so I was like, what? And she like, she didn't even hand signal. She just turned all of a sudden. Like, it surprised me she turned so fast. And I just... And then I was just like, did you seriously just yell at the car for doing... The, the car? And I just... I couldn't. I was so angry. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, I figured you were going to take that spot. Because Grandma over there didn't know what she was doing. Anyways. <laughs> I'll yell at cars doing a parking lot crap all the time. What really angers me is is um, cyclists. Really, I don't know. Please share below. Share stories. I love hearing stories about asshole bicyclists. I'm not saying they're all bad. I know Dan is really good at being a being a knowledgeable cyclist. I've known a lot of people in Portland that are knowledgeable cyclists, but. <sighs> I just, they're so oblivious. And I wish there was like cops that hankered down when they, when the cyclists break the law. And there's a whole other story for that when I think Aaron's told it before, um, about red light cameras, but whatever. I will see you guys over the weekend. Um, hopefully it'll be better than last weekend. <laughs>